So now let's see how we can work around with true or false questions inside of Adobe Captivate. To work with true or false questions, I'm going to go to slide right over here and then I'm going to choose question right over here. Once I do that, I'm going to go into true or false right over here as you can see. So it's just below multiple choice. So I'm going to have two true or false questions right over here. And let's say this is going to be graded. So you can make it a survey or a pretest as well. So I'm just going to keep it graded right over there and I'm going to press OK right over here. So I got two slides for the question as you can see. So it looks quite similar to the multiple choice questions, but true or false both is there. The answers are already written for you. And then of course you got the score base right over here. So I'm going to go to the top and type in my question right over here. So I'm going to say is Adobe Photoshop a tool used to edit images all right so this is going to be true and then i'm going to type in my second question right over here so i'm going to say is adobe illustrator used to edit videos and this is going to be false so just click on false right over here so now i have all of my results right here so i do want to set up a score uh, as 40 as the pass marks. So I, I, I'm going to go around over here and then in the quiz section, you can see all of its options. So you can give assign it points. So I'm going to let's say, for example, assign five points and one negative point for uh, wrong answer. And then over here, I can go over here and then assign five points and one negative points as a wrong answer. There are other options over here as well. So you can clear out, uh, you have back and you, you have skip as an option over here. Uh, so I don't want to change any of these right here. You can also change the number of attempts, like you can have one attempt or infinite number of attempts right over here as well. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I'm just going to change the pass marks. So I'm going to go around here onto the uh, modify, not modify, but on the quiz section, on the quiz preferences. And from the quiz preferences, I'm going to change the quiz pass marks that is pass or fail to 40%. So mine is already set to 40%. So I'm going to retype it, press OK, and there you go. So now if I were to preview the project right over here, so I'm going to preview the project right over here, as you can see, so it's saving the file and previewing the project. If I were to go over here, there's the blank slide, which I forgot to delete, and then I got the true or false. So is Photoshop a tool used to edit images? Uh, this is going to be false, submit, so it's actually incorrect, it's true. So I'm going to click again and then go for the next one is Adobe Illustrator uh, used to edit videos. This is false. So I forgot to actually, uh, is Adobe uh, Illustrator used to edit videos, false. So I actually did it, okay? So I did select the answer as you can see. And then at the end, you'll be able to see the score 40%. That's a pass as you can see right over there. So just like that, you can set up uh, the no, true or false questions inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.